G'day Minecrafters and how you going? Steve O here with another video and today I want to address something that has changed in Minecraft and as such needs review. Um, some of you may be aware that piston changes, um, pistons have been changed in terms of their timing and sand has also been changed a little bit uh, in Minecraft uh, from the later snapshots. So I wanted to address something that's very important for those of us who want to use both of these together, <laughs> uh, namely in sand counters. I'm going to explain why this model works in a moment and why this one does not work. Um, previously you could use uh, two non-sticky pistons to create a perfectly functioning sand counter where this sand would be able to move from one stack to the next. Um, without too much hassle and that no longer works and I'm going to talk about the various things related to that. I might grab some sand now just in case I accidentally uh, have any issues later and my computer sent me an error message. I think I know why uh, but I'll, talk, I'll look at that in a minute. So I've set up a basic uh, clock which won't overload it. Um, as you can see there's still a signal going over there but there's no pushing going on. The sand can't physically push in time if I was to add another tick to it, it just breaks the sand. So as you can see, this is well and truly broken. Um, that does not work anymore. If I was to decrease this clock by one tick, as you will see, um, we just end up losing sand. So yeah, sand has been w well and truly nerfed. Um, as a result of, or sand clocks anyway, sand counters, have been well and truly nerfed using normal non-sticky pistons uh, for good. Now, in order to get around that, I derped around a little bit, and I can, I was working something else over there, I think, I've, instead. But I was were derping with it, and this model here is actually extremely reliable, and I want to show you it. It's a one-tick uh, little system here. And I can show you it step by step too, so that's what's even niftier about it. Now there's something else I need to show you, let me grab some obsidian for that. You might be wondering why I'm grabbing obsidian, but I'll, I'll explain that in a moment. So we have what happens first, This the first tick this will require an extra motion in the use of the, the clock, but this will ultimately be for the betterment, And you, as you see uh, here. As you can see, this has actually successfully moved a piece of sand from one to the other. So it pushes it up, and then as this is being pulled down, as this block here is being pulled down, this pushes across. And the blocks, as you notice and watch closely, literally phase into each other. I might try and slow it down the feed, so I'll slow this down in the video, and you'll be able to see quite clearly that these two here will phase inside of each other which allows this to work. So ready for that? If you missed that, I'll, I'll play a replay of that. Um, but yeah, so this model works. You have to add an extra tick to your system, and, or an extra cycle for your system for, uh, to be able to run it, but ultimately it's not a bad deal, given that it works, and it works fine. Now, we can also likewise go the opposite direction for the same thing, and it's quite quite safe. It doesn't matter which direction you're facing. It could be north, south, east, west. Um, there's no bugging in result to this. Um, it's completely and 100% reliable. And yeah, so the basics of the system is just a, um, a one tick clock here, or a pulse anyway. Um, this redstone goes into here, is this piston pushes up, but one tick always escapes. Um, that one tick goes to here first, and then f uh, up this um, here to go into that. So that's why we've got a, a half slab there, because if we didn't have the half slab, it wouldn't even power, the ship would still power that piston, but... <laughs> I didn't want to risk it at anything, so I put it all as half slabs. And this one has to be a half slab because it might activate that piston there. Um, might be a budding effect, so four half slabs along there, or whatever length of time, I guess. But 
the important things aren't necessarily that we're using half slabs, it's more so the idea of there being a one tick pulse th that enables this piston and then while this is being disabled pushing that piston inside of it and so yeah this is going to fix a lot of the problems that the previous system I guess had removed and it's ultimately extremely reliable and easy to build as you can see this it's I don't have to really do a tutorial I don't think um, you've just got two pistons that are non-sticky facing inward oh the obsidian um, two non-sticky pistons facing inward and then two sticky pistons below um, facing upwards now the reason I'm showing you this is because if you do that it will not work I'm, I'm going to state it again quite clearly, it will not work. See that? It did not work. The reason for that is because this piston here, the non-sticky piston, will only push if it thinks that it's going to be able to push. Now it knows that Obsidian is living over here, so it, it realizes it's not going to be able to push the sand. Um, for some reason, the game concludes that and the only thing it's going to be able to do is push the sand through this. So, d you can't... Uh, if you're going to do it, everything has to be... Um, your timing has to be right. You can't physically pull it off with Obsidian. Um, so, that's something else I wanted to note. So, I know it's obviously a nice safeguard, but your thing will not work unless you if you use obsidian so uh, behind the pistons so yeah just wanted to point point those out that's something that um i thought was worth mentioning anyway so the old system does not work you can no longer one tick pulse it um even if these were on the same pulse it would just break sand uh so just important things to note and the only way it will work is if the blocks phase inside of each other as a result of using sticky pistons you could use sticky pistons on the outside as well uh, but, yeah, it's, it's a moot point, really, if you're not going to see it and you're not gonna, really going to do a huge amount with it like that. Uh, just wanted to point that out anyway. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. You can also set up uh, sticky pistons as part of a clock, um, as I've done with my tree farm. I'll leave a link to that, um, as it was quite a successful build. And I'll catch you later. Uh, see ya. Got a little Swedish there. there. Yeah.